Hello, and welcome to the Champion Arrowhead tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will cover the 460 series Arrow Breaker Frostproof Hydrant. The Arrow Breaker Hydrant is part of our Frostproof Hydrant line and is designed to prevent cold weather from damaging the faucet and pipes inside your house. Our Arrow Breaker Hydrant also has internal anti-siphon technology to protect from backflow and siphoning. To prepare you for the best user experience, we will provide information on proper use and instructions for basic repairs of the Arrow Breaker Hydrant. Before we begin, just a reminder to always use proper safety equipment, and if you are inexperienced, we recommend contacting your local plumbing professional. The tools needed in the video includes the following. A Phillips head screwdriver, two crescent wrenches, however, we also encourage using channel locks if you have some available. To determine if you have a 460 series hydrant, Look for the following features. All of our frost-free hydrants have an ABP stamp on the side, like the one seen here. ABP stands for Airhead Brass and Plumbing. Our hydrants also have a green handle, which has become iconic with the Arrowhead name. To ensure all of our frost-free hydrants have a downward tilt, we provide a plastic wedge to use during installation. We will go into further detail regarding this later in the video. The Aerobreaker hydrant has internal anti-siphon technology, and our 1019 certification can be seen on the side of the hydrant just above the hose threading. As part of our internal anti-siphon technology, our 460 hydrants have a weep hole just below the handle. This allows water to drain during a backflow condition. And finally, the Airbreaker hydrant has an orange tag to help identify the product. Now let's go over the parts of the Airbreaker hydrant. Handles for the Airbreaker hydrant are removable and only require a Phillips head screwdriver. If a handle is needed, the part number is PK1295. The stem assembly includes the internal copper tube that turns with the handle to open and close the hydrant, the bonnet, and the check assembly, which is central to the 460's anti-siphon technology. Our stems come in multiple sizes, so replacements will require proper measurements. Instructions for this will be shown in the next segment of the video. The Airbreaker hydrant's check assembly is connected to the end of the stem and is replaceable. The plastic wedge that comes with the hydrant is required during the installation as it ensures a downward tilt. To qualify as a frost-free hydrant, the hydrant must have a downward tilt to allow water to drain out. Water left in the pipe can lead to freeze damage, so this step is mandatory. Additionally, hoses must be removed after each use to ensure that the frost-free technology isn't compromised. Hoses left on run the risk of bursting your pipes because of freezing water. For a proper stem measurement, there are a few important steps to follow. Some of our hydrants differ in as little as a quarter of an inch, so we want to make sure each measurement is done properly. First, you will need to turn off the water supply in the house. Next, once the water supply is shut off, you can remove the stem. To do so, you will need two wrenches, one to stabilize the hydrant, and another to unscrew the bonnet. You will want to use the flat surfaces on the side of the valve with the wrench to keep the hydrant steady. Once the stem is unscrewed, pull out the stem. If it gets stuck, just wiggle it around and it should loosen. It can get stuck if the lips of the check assembly get caught inside. Now that you have removed the stem, you will need to remove the handle. The handle is fastened with a self-tapping screw, so use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove it from the stem. Now you must press in the check assembly. Some of our older hydrants have springs, so if you're measuring a stem with a spring, make sure you depress the spring so we can measure the shortest length possible. Something important to note is that some of our other models have no moving components in the stem. If your stem resembles this solid stem, you do not have a 460 hydrant. Please contact tech support to identify your model number. Once the check assembly is depressed, we can now make the measurement. Placing the stem next to a ruler, we can see a total length of 8 inches. When we measure the stem, we deduct 4 inches to identify the model number, so this 8 inch stem is for a 4 inch hydrant. If the stem is not an even length, contact tech support for further assistance. Now we can determine the part number for a replacement stem. Since we've confirmed that this is a 460 series hydrant, and since the total length of the stem is 8 inches, we can determine that this is the 4 inch 460 series hydrant. The part number for a replacement stem will be PK6004. We pull leaks happen when there's an issue with the check assembly. It's important to know that water drains from this hole when there's a backflow condition and small leaks are normal for proper anti-siphon protection. If there is water leaking non-stop when the faucet is on, you will need to replace the check assembly. To replace the check assembly, use pliers, grip the check assembly, and pull it out of the stem. It is in there tight, so it will take some effort. 
Now we need to install our new PK6026 check assembly. To install, place the check assembly on a flat and even surface with the rod facing up and grab the stem. Place the stem above the check assembly and tap it down. If done properly, the check assembly will pop in. Since the check assembly is springless, it should be able to slide back and forth, but it should not fall out now. Now, reinstall the stem and tighten the bonnet. Make sure the white nylon washer is flush and even to avoid damage during reinstallation. It's important to note that none of our assembly processes require Teflon tape or sealants. Once secured, you can now turn the water back on. If done properly, you should not see any water leaking when the hydrant is on. If you have issues turning off your hydrant, you might need to replace this stem assembly. If there is a leak from the threading or bonnet, you might need a new stem as well. If there is a leak inside the wall, this is the result of a burst pipe from frozen water. In this situation, you would want to replace the hydrant. We suggest contacting a plumbing professional for large repairs like this as there may be unseen damage. To help your AeroBreaker 460 hydrant repairs last longer, please refrain from using hose end timers or splitters. Our 460 hydrants are not designed for continuous use and should not be pressurized for 12 or more hours. Using timers or splitters on these products may damage the internal vacuum breaker, causing the hydrants to leak. Thank you for watching. For more information on our Arrowhead brass products, please visit our website at www.champion-arrowhead.com. For technical support on this or any other Arrowhead brass product, please contact our tech support team.